It's a good question. Classify the question as a GMAT 650 level problem solving question in sequences and series. Beauty about this question is, this is an arithmetic progression question. Concept tested is sum of an arithmetic progression, but you could solve this question very differently and then this question actually becomes a very simple question. The way you look at the question could make a difference to the question being a 650 level question or probably even a 550 level question. Go to solve it two ways. We will start with the first approach which would probably make it appear as a 550 level question if you are able to visualize it that way and we will also do the typical way of finding out using the summation of an arithmetic progression formula. We are to solve this question using two methods. So, read the question. Set A contains all even numbers from 2 to 50 inclusive. Right? Smallest positive even integer is a 2. We are going all the way up to 50. We are adding all these even integers. They are in an arithmetic progression with a common difference of 2. Set B contains all even numbers from 102 to 150. Right? Another set of even integers starting from 102 all the way up to 150. That is what set B contains. What is the difference between the sum of elements of B and the sum of elements of A? That is what we need to compute. Method 1, we will start by listing down elements of set B. Set B starts from 102 all the way up to 150 even numbers. So, this is what set B is going to comprise. 102, 104, 106, 108, we will go all the way to 148, 150. What does set A comprise? Starts from 2, 4, 6, all the way up to 48 and 50. What do we have to find out? We need to find the sum of elements of set B. So, 102 plus 104 plus 106 all the way up to 148 plus 150. Find this sum and from that subtract the sum of the elements of set A which is 2 plus 4 plus 6 all the way up to 48 plus 50. As I said, two ways of going about it. Method 2, what I am going to do is, I am going to apply the summation of an arithmetic progression formula on the first row, going to do the same thing for the second row, find the difference between the two and arrive at the answer. But in the first method, let us look at it differently. We are essentially adding all of this and from that, we are subtracting the sum that we get in row 2. Now, let us look at it. Let us look at corresponding terms if we can use the word. 102 minus 100, I can find the difference first. I can find the difference for each of these elements and then add the difference, add row 1, add row 2, subtract the sum of row 2 from sum of row 1, that is one way of going about it, which is the method 2 that we are going to be using. Alternatively, keep finding the differences correspondingly and then add the differences, you should get the answer. 102 minus 2 is 100, 104 minus 4 is 100, 106 minus 6 is 100, 148 minus 48 is 100, 150 minus 50 is 100. The difference between the corresponding terms is the same 100. However many terms are there, that into the difference between the corresponding terms, which is 100 in each of these cases. There are 20 terms, 20 times 100. How many terms are there? We are talking from 2 to 50 even numbers. How many numbers will be there? There will be 25 even numbers between 2 and 50. So, there are 25 such differences we are seeing. So, the final answer, the difference between the sum of the elements of B and the sum of the elements of A is equal to 25 terms into the difference between each of the terms is 100. So, the answer is equal to 2500. This is the quickest way of solving this question. If you visualize it this way, it becomes a 550 level question. Otherwise, 650 level because it is going to take you some more time into computing this sum, this sum and then finding the difference which is going to be calculation wise cumbersome. We will nevertheless do it. We will start with the sum of the first terms, right. Sum of elements of set B sum of an arithmetic progression is essentially equal to, we will write the formula here and then compute it for set B. A1 plus An divided by 2 times the number of terms. So, for set B, it is going to be equal to the first term is 102, the last term is 150 divided by 2 into number of terms which is equal to 25. 102 plus 150 is equal to 252. 252 divided by 2 is equal to 126. This is 126 into 25. We will do the calculation subsequently. Do not do anything right now. Sum of elements of set A is equal to first term is 2, last term is 50 divided by 2 into again the same 25 terms we have. This is 52 by 2 which is equal to what 26. This is equal to 26 times 25. This value minus this value is what we need to find out to arrive at the answer. So, 126 times 25 minus 26 times 25, take 25 common between the first and the second term, that makes it as 126 minus 26, 100 times 25, which is equal to the 2500, we arrived at using the first method. Second method, little more cumbersome than the first one, answer is 2500, choice A is the correct answer to the question.